Hello everybody and welcome. I am Lemur Actual. And today we're going to be half playing, half reviewing uh, the new game, Pal World. So, I've already played this game a little bit. And sadly, the first time I recorded it, I did not... Um, I only recorded my face like a big doofus. So, basically just deleted that video. Um, and we're going to try again. Uh, for now, uh, we need a world name. Okay, so I am going to... Um, let's, how about... Um, slinky... McGinky. That's good. Slinky McGinky. Okay. Multiplayer. For now, I'm going to keep multiplayer off. Uh, I'm going to change the settings a little bit. Standard game balance upon death equipment. I want to make this a little bit more casual, a little less survival y. Not that the game is a hard survival game by any means, because it definitely isn't. You could play on normal and have much easier of a time than most survival games, including. Uh, like Ark, for example. It's quite a bit easier than Ark. Uh, but anyway. Okay, day speed, pal capture rate, appearance rate. Oh, cool. I could turn that up? I don't know if I want to turn that up. Pals are decently already in the game. I'll leave that. Damage from pals, damage to pals. What if, okay, I don't know if I want my pals to get hungry. Wait, uh-oh. I don't know if that means... Oh, no. I don't know if I can change these settings later, either. Uh, I'll just leave it at normal so I don't screw up the game here and make this thing worthwhile. Um... Auto health regeneration. I didn't even realize there was auto health generation. I'm going to be a little baby and turn that up a little bit, too, just so I don't have to... Well, no, because there's, like, food. I don't need to. It's fine. We'll just leave it. Okay. Uh, gather item multiplier. D -d -d Drop items multiplier. It's fine. Oh, you can turn off the raids. I don't want to do that, but that is interesting. I don't want to drop items if I pass away. Um, That's fine. You know what? I guess that's fine. We're basically just going to leave the rules the same except for the item drops. And we'll get right into it. Slinky McGinky. Here we go. Yes, let's do it. Start game. Okay, I have to make a character. Let's do this. We'll stick with Death Lemur for now. Um, I want to be a fella. I'll try to kind of recreate what I actually look like. Uh, oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, skin color, pretty pale. Yeah, perfect. Um, torso size. Oh wow, Elon Musk. Good. Moving on. Arm size. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Face. Ooh. Oh, I gotta pick one of these faces with the beards. That beard is okay. Beard's a little bigger, and I got a cool eye scar. All right. My eyes are kind of smaller. Go with that. Uh, saturation. Yeah, I don't know, something like that. That's probably about right. Eyebrow color. This is one thing that's kind of awesome. You can change your eyebrow and beard color specifically. Which is pretty interesting. Try to make a reddish beard color, reddish orangish beard color, just like real life. Uh, a little more saturated, a little less bright, something like that. I don't know. That's good. Hair. Hmm. It's not really correct per se, but I feel like there was one in here that was almost it. There's one better than that one. Uh, oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, this one. Yeah, it's not perfect, but that's as close as we'll get, so let's go with that. Wow, that is, that is yellow. Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel like something like that. It's about my hair color. A little light, looks a little silly, but hey, you know what? That's right. I look a little silly. I looked at the voices earlier here. I'll do a quick one for you guys, so. So one through three is female voices. Generally, higher at least. Huh? Okay. Like that. It's the deepest voice in there. Yes, let's do it. As of right now, you cannot change your character after character creation uh, due to this game being in early access. But it makes it sound like they're going to try to include <laughs> as many things as they can. Pals! There they are. <clears throat> Very legally distinct. <laughs> the towers are the key. The tree holds the truth. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, here we are. Wow, that is so Zelda. But it's, I mean, I'm not mad about it. Okay, I gotta pick up some fallen branches, uh, according to the tutorial. Look at this, here we are. People, or a person, and a chickpea, okay. <clears throat> running around. This big thing is a fast travel uh, thing. So that's good. Now I can travel back here anytime. Branch! Alright, sweet. Picked up some wood. Open the options menu with escape and check the survival guide. Oh, okay. This is a survival guide. Gives me a bunch of stuff. Cool. Fun. Now, build. Let's meet a bit. Oh, what was that? That's fine. My wife is not feeling too hot upstairs, so I got my phone on just to make sure if she needs anything. I can run up there. I'm a good guy I like that. Okay. Hey. What's up? <clears throat> oh my gosh, you have a shotgun. Been a while since someone who didn't stink of paddles washed up here. This island is a living hell. <laughs> the people I came with aren't with us any longer. The pals ate every one of them. You be careful out there. Oh my gosh. Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up if you want to survive out there. You don't know. You don't know how tough I am. Okay. Excuse me. Assuming. Alright. There's stuff, man. This place is beautiful. Um, Alright, there's a little stamina bar. A bunch of stuff costs stamina, including sprinting. I'm just looking over here to see if there's anything. This is like in this ruins area. Hello, little lamb dude. You're so cute. Wow. Adorable. Whoops. Alright, these ruins don't seem to house anything interesting. It's down here. Ooh. Cliff. There is fall damage, but you can fall from pretty high and not... Um, just immediately die anyway. Like, I'll fall from here to test it? It hurt a little bit. A little bit. Not too bad. Kind of like this little area. I like these cats. I know I need this stuff. Um, I want to be by this bridge thing. It's cool. Whoa! Stuff! Hold on. What is this? Hello, chest. Oh, it needs a copper key. Okay, that's something I have not encountered yet. Note from another adventure. You can check their journeys from the options screen. Okay, what's that do? Uh, maybe not. Options? Uh, oh, a journal. Uh, as I explored around on foot, I found a sphere that emits a peculiar blue light. I threw it without much thought, and the creature it landed near transformed into what seemed to be light, as though the sphere had absorbed it. Unbelievably, when I tried throwing the same sphere again, the creature reappeared from the light and stared at me with what seemed like an amicable expression. 
As I began to create a shelter to protect me from the elements, the creature astonishingly began to help me. How useful. Wanting to deepen my connection with this living thing, I decided to name its kind Pals. To match, I christened the land Palpagos Island. <laughs> That's funny. So that was like the discoverer of this place, apparently. Okay. Well, now I feel like I'm in the midst of a celebrity or something. Wow. Hello. Are you going to hurt me? Nope. Cool. We're just buds. Good. All right, I'm going to build my house right here. This looks nice. This is nice. Or maybe over by that chunk of metal. That's kind of neat. Yeah, let's do it. Build a little cove house in there. Okay. <clears throat> Open the build menu with B. Let's do it. Very good. I'm going to put this right next to this thing. Uh, exit. Now I can do this. Cool. I know that there are... Most structures, especially bigger structures, kind of take a while. What was that? Uh, most structures actually take a while to build. The workbench is one that's relatively fast. Uh, okay, we'll open the technology screen. Technology. So yeah, anyone that's played Ark, you're going to recognize this immediately. This is like the exact same menu layout as Ark. Really, really similar. So, I'll start unlocking some stuff. I've got all this stuff unlocked by default. I'm going to need the PAL box. I have six technology points left. I definitely need a PAL sphere. Definitely need a campfire. Definitely need a chest. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just go all the way here, right? There we go. Good. Now, craft PAL sphere. What do I need? I need a paldium fragment and a couple... Well, one more stone. These little bluing or bluing. Really? These glowing blue ores are paldium. Uh, and you can punch them. I should have made a pickaxe, but... Well, here we are. Hey, I got one. Okay. <clears throat> That'll do. Do you even need a... You do need the workbench to make a pal sphere. Okay. I was wondering about that. Oops, wrong button. Uh, okay. Now I need one stone, that's right. Me stone laying around. Be very convenient. Oh, come on, I can pick you up. Oh, come on. I should just make a pickaxe. I'm gonna need one anyway. Nope, there's a stone. Gonna go get it. Oh. Boom. Alright. Perfect. Oh, I hope I can get back up. Uh-oh. I hadn't considered this possibility. Oh, you can just climb. I forgot. I'll just do that. <clears throat> Hello. Chickpea. Uh, uh, well, okay. Oh, I can't jump because I want to stay enough. Okay. I'm almost there. Just hold on. We're almost there. Yes. Start production. Uh, hold to work. Uh, doing work. Excellent. Uh, acquire. Heck yeah. Now I've got a pal sphere. This is great. Attack pals to weaken them, then press Q to throw a pal sphere and capture them. Oh. Alright, well, let's do it. Hello, cat. Oh, don't run. It is futile. It is futile to run. You should know this by now. Um. There's a lot of chickpeas, too. I think that if there's other cats around and they see you beat one up, they might all attack you. If I'm remembering that correctly. <clears throat> well, I made it so I don't drop items on death, so... I could probably just try it and see what happens. Bailies. 
I need these. So I don't starve. Starving is not fun. Hello? Oh! A lamb bowl. Maybe I'll go with him instead so that I'm not getting attacked a lot. Hi, buddy! So cute! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> so the game told me to punch one. I like, you know, weaken it, beat it up, weaken it. And <clears throat> then I just had a thing that said pacifist down. Is there a way to capture pals? I mean, can you just not hit them? Can you just throw a ball at them instead? And just have a lower capture rate, but still make it work? I feel like that really wouldn't work for, um, like, harder pals later in the world, but whatever. Build a pal box. Um, yes, I forgot how to do everything. Uh, build pal box. I have the stuff to do that already. That's good. I'll build it right here next to my stuff. Uh, whoops. I don't know if my little dude can help with this. Oh, he can! So that's how it works. That is how it works right there. I beat the heck out of this little lamb, and now he's just fixing my stuff for me. Hey, buddy! Good job. Appreciate you big time. Uh, okay. Access the pillbox. Okay, neat. So I can do this. Put him in the box. I can also leave him at my base. Which uh, has him just kind of go around and do like random tasks that are worth doing. Um, for now, I actually want him with me. We're going to level up this Lambo. I think. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Use tab to open your inventory and press... Um, Press to consume the food. Okay. Yes, I could use some food. Also, does it heal the lamb bowl? Um, technically no. But if you have... Looks like if you have full hunger, your lamb bowl... Your uh, health comes back sooner. Sorry. Very distracted. Uh, you just leveled up. Oh, sweet. Uh, yes, enhanced stats. Oh boy, what do we want? Wait. Venturing alone. I don't think you can have your pals carry stuff for you. But I could be wrong. So I'm going to put some points into wait. Uh, capture five Lambles and earn XP. Okay. I need to build a some tools. Right, I need more stone. Uh, yep, need more stone. All right. Let's get some stone. <laughs> what happens if I go in this river? Nothing. I take a bath. That's all. I'll get cleaner. Smell better. Uh, how do you... Nope, stop. I didn't mean to... Uh, nope, I don't want... Okay. Alright, need stone. Hello, cat. I'll come for you later. But for now, I don't want to get beat up by your friends. Uh, this place is really cool. I should have built a house down here. Well, I mean, I guess I didn't build a house yet, technically. But... You get the idea. Wood, berries... Stone. It's all here. All the resources are here. I definitely should have built my little... I should have started here, is what I'm trying to say. There's a chest. I'm gonna go get that. Yeah, so it was pretty silly. I um, I definitely recorded a video of, of playing already with a friend. And I'm totally going to just record another one with that because that was really fun. But 
that was the first impression video, and I literally didn't capture the game. Like, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. So, I have an idea of how the game works already. And I can tell you, I've, I've maybe put like three hours into this game. And I can tell you that this game is everything that you want from an open world Pokemon game. In my opinion, I mean, it's like it 100% is. You can capture pals. You, uh, by default, you have five pals with you, which is one short of the six that's, you know, you'd find in Pokemon. Um, and you can literally just like throw them out and battle them. And that's just how it goes. Like, watch this. Yeah. Uh, what do I do? Fluffy shield? What's that? What? What does that mean? What's what? What's happening? Oh, uh, throw pals. Uh, what if I just hit F again? Cancel. Hey, there we go. All right, I'm gonna punch this guy, and then you're gonna fight him too, right? Get him! I don't have another pal sphere. Why did I do this? I shouldn't have done this. This is a oh, right there. <gasps> Wow, that was the most convenient timing ever. Haha, <laughs> see? So my Lambo uh, leveled up because of that. The first one that I caught. Okay, wait, stop. Chill out. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out, bro. You don't have to fight this guy too, okay? But you could. And I'd level you up again, possibly. All right, maybe. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I think you can kind of dodge. Oh, yeah, there's like totally some souls like dodging going on here, too. All right, fine. You asked for it, punk. Let's go. Another ball. Ow. I don't want to waste it, but I'm kind of curious to see if I can just throw it at him. What happens? Oh, only 68%. Come on. Come on, yeah, all right, sweet. I got a bunch of Lambles right now. Very cool. So yeah, you do just find Pal Spheres laying around too. You don't always have to craft them. And these little guys, these little pangolets here, are awesome. They got ice powers, they just throw ice bullets at people and stuff. Very cool. An egg. What you doing? Come on back, bud. Do, 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 do. Okay, wood. This game is so fun. It really is. It's it's incredible. Everything's rewarding. If you find a chest, you get stuff. Gold coins, pal spheres, a mega sphere. That will be incredibly helpful for catching harder to catch uh, pals. <laughs> I almost said it. I almost said the word. They're pals, guys. This is Pal World. That thing is awesome. Mammorist. I get it. Mammoth Forest. Very good. Um, okay, I see a fast travel thing over here. I want to go get that. So right away, you can see that, like I said, the... Um, another Pal Sphere. Yes! Yes! Um, like I said, the whole situation of uh, not having that hard of survival things. I should make a torch, because it's about, get, about to get nighttime and it does get cold, and that hurts you quite a bit. But it won't kill you. So the survival aspects of the game are relatively light. They're not that hard by default. Just very nice for someone that, you know, doesn't really want it to be that difficult by default. Because I think that you can kind of bump those difficulties up a little bit and make it more tough on yourself if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to need a bed. And some clothes. And maybe a shield. That's pretty cool. Or weapons. Nah. No weapons. I'll use my pals as weapons. Then it's even more like a Pokemon game. <laughs> okay, maybe a weapon. Feedbox. That'll be important later. Alarm bell. Nah. Okay, nice. All right. 
Um, I really want to catch a pangolet. They are really cool. This guy's running over to the fast travel area anyway, so... You know, why not? Do you just pick these up if you run over? No? Okay. Awesome. That is so... Zelda. Or, like, Genshin Impact, which is also just Zelda, basically. But I love it. Another chest! Oh man, this game is fueling a lot of desires. I feel like a little kid playing the first Pokemon game that I enjoyed on, like, the GameCube. Even though that I, you know, I played the ones on the Game Boy too, you guys. Okay, okay, relax. I played those ones too. But there was one game specifically for the GameCube. I think it was Pokemon Coliseum, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not, I don't know, but... It was good. That was a good one. This kind of makes me feel like those feelings. What's that green thing? I don't know. I'm going to go get it. It's going to be cold. <gasps> Firefox creatures. I want that. But I'm scared. <clears throat> no, I want that. Well, let me get this green thing. I think this is important. Swimming cost stamina. It does, very slowly, but it does. It's so dark. It's so dark. What you? Collect Lith Monk Effigy and offer them to a Statue of Power to improve your ability to capture pals. Oh, cool. Man, okay, so since that's an option, maybe you could technically just do a pacifist run? Or like playthrough where you don't hurt any pals, uh, I don't know, that aren't hurting you. I wonder if that's a thing. Or if you can use your pals to hurt other pals still yeah. technically. It's so dark. I'm scared. Alright, I got this fast travel thing. I should go somewhere else. Hello. I want this. I want this guy. Oh, it's the bird thing. I know I can't catch him. I'm not even going to waste the pal sphere because I don't have that many. But I think I do have at least one extra. So I might... I might uh, kind of beat this fox up and try to catch him. Because look how cool he is. Or hot, if you prefer. That's a little weird, though. So let's not prefer that, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, hi. Uh, no, we're buds. We're buds. It's all good, right? Oh. No, it's, it's good. It's good. Oh, no. Stamina. Oh, no. It's cold. Uh, I'm scared. This is not good. Oh. See, look. He loves me. He's already trying to warm me up. Come here. Come here. You have a lot of health. You have so much health. I'm on fire. Come on. Just want to weaken him a little more. A little more. How's that? It's pretty good, right? 78%. <gasps> yes. Lovely. Okay, there's another effigy here. Uh, I need to pick it up. Uh, my health is draining so fast. Uh, and then there's a person here. Hello. I see you. What's up? You're a new face. Don't tell me an outsider. Well, yeah. Not that it matters to me. Now that you're on this island, why not try and catch some pals? You can get extra experience for capturing up to ten of the same kind, you know. You know what they say. Pal tamers get stronger the more pals they capture. Here, take this. I've got high hopes for you. What'd you give me? Oh, nice. Paldium fragments. Okay, I feel like... I... Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not freezing because I'm by his fire? Is that what's going on? Or her fire? Whatever. That's cool. Okay, that's neat. I like that. Um... Yes. I've got the fox. Yes. Very cool. So, yeah. 
the point is, this game fulfills a lot of your uh, Pokemon trainer desires. Truly. Like, it really, really does. Um, I don't know if there's a way... Like, if you've got your Pokemon. Summon Pal... Command Pal? Number four? What's that doing? Attack aggressively. I was looking to see if there's a way you can specifically... Emotes? No. Oh. That's pretty cool. Alright, um... What else do we got? <clears throat> Is that not... Oh, I can pet. Oh, oh, delightful. Come here. Oh my gosh. I love that. That is great. Okay, what else can you do? Um, focus on the same enemy. Don't attack. Attack aggressively. I wonder if that just means... I'm going to guess that means that it'll attack like anything in sight. Anything that comes across, it'll just start fighting it. Which is possibly not a good idea. Probably not a good idea. Um, come over here. There's an egg. You can incubate eggs that you find around the place too. And you'll hatch pals that way. Man, it's difficult to not just say Pokemon. But here we are. I need to make a bed so I can sleep through the night. What's that? There's just so many interesting things, but it's so dark. Oh, is it another journal entry, looks like? Okay. Day XX. Man, that poor castaway started absolutely losing their mind and thinking that numbers were letters. How tragic. Look at these cute dudes. All right. I... Can you fast travel from anywhere, ever? Or do you have to be at a fast travel point to fast travel places? Um... Doesn't say that I can fast travel to my base. It doesn't say that I can fast travel? Am I doing it wrong? No, I don't see a... Okay. Maybe I have to be at a fast travel point to fast travel. Which is somewhat reasonable, to be honest. I can live with that. I think I've got my five slots full anyway. Four Lambles and the Fox. Let's travel home. Yeah! Cool. What makes it my base? That I have a workbench here or something? Oh, it's cold. Um... Oh, campfire. Gotta build a dang campfire. It's so cold. What? Can you build? Probably not. You're kinda like... Um... Yeah. Quadrupedal. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I could just build, and I will build, actually. Because it's freaking cold. You did great, Lamble. Proud of you. Okay. Oh, I can make food there. That's cool. Baked berries. Are those a lot better than normal berries? Uh, yeah. I bet they are. I might make some of those. I don't know, ten? Why not? Oh, that takes some time, too. It's pretty quick. Um, not all that quick, though. Whoa! My Lamble levels up from doing this stuff? Do all of them do? Do all of them do? Do all of them do that? Or... Can't tell. Plus two. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. So all of my current pals... Level up when I'm doing this. That's cool. 
Holy crap, a person. Hello. Why are you here? Who are you? You look so interesting. Wandering merchant. Uh, okay, well, I'm almost done with my berries, so... Don't you walk off that edge. Don't you do it. Okay, good. Acquire. Uh, what's up, bud? Hey, what's up with you? What's up with you? I've got some good items in stock. I believe it. You look cool. Oh, you can buy pal spheres for gold. Oh, I love this. I love, I love survival crafting games that give you multiple options to acquire stuff. You know, you're not shoehorned into having to craft stuff. You could just explore. And if I explore, I'd get more gold from chests. And now I can just buy stuff instead of crafting stuff. Um, that is so awesome. I love that. Um, okay. I should probably just save my money. But instead, I'm going to buy some pal spheres. I can only buy one. So be it. I can sell stuff too? <gasps> What's this? Leather? How do you just... Is there like a quick sell button? Oh, right there. Very cool. Watch the egg worth. Nothing. That's sad. Well, one. Technically. Flame organ. I don't know. You may, maybe you shouldn't sell these things, to be honest. Like, I don't really know for sure. And I can see that maybe you shouldn't. But at the same time, I did. And now I can buy another pal sphere. I'm sure there'll be people watching this that are like, why are you buying stuff? Just make it. But listen, like I said, I just did it. I don't know. I'm just curious about stuff. Call me a fool. In the comments below. You're welcome, too. It's okay. Call me a fool. But it will hurt my feelings, to be clear. It will hurt. It will hurt me inside. I need a pickaxe. Yes. Let's get it. I should probably get a pickaxe, an axe, torch, all that stuff. <laughs> um, okay, I need more stone. No. What? Oh, I can just do it. It looks grayed out, but it's just a darker thing. <laughs> He's trying so hard. Love it. Love that. Uh, wooden club. That's kind of fun. For close range combat. Fighting a pal with it might be tough. Why would... Well, what... What? Is it better than a axe? For fighting stuff? I don't know. Ooh. That spear is cool. Alright, I, I need a torch. Bro. Thank you. Uh, this is a little awkward. Oh boy, this is kind of awkward. Uh, okay. Yeah, you did good. You did great. Love you. More pal spheres. I want as many as I can build. Because I want to be the very best. That maybe no one ever was. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Come over here. Pals in... Pal, pal, pals at the base. Let's leave the level 3 Lamble here. Boop. Haha. <laughs> Neat. How do I get more? How do I get more? How do I do more? Do I need to upgrade something? Or like have a house or something real? Oh, base upgrade. Probably that, huh? Deploy a work pal at the base. Okay. Build a wooden chest. Easy. Easy. I've built so many wooden chests already. Um, uh, no more wood. Okay, all right, fine. It's going to be so hard and not easy. I'm just kidding. Definitely kidding, definitely kidding. Oh, yeah. That gave me so much wood. Um. Yes. From what I understand, if you have a chest in your base and you're trying to craft something, it just does it. It just does it for you automatically. 
How fun! How cute! And they're happy. They like working. I wish I could have that sentiment. <laughs> All right, I built a chest, so that's good. Now I can uh, base upgrade. What are you doing? Oh, is he grabbing? He's doing stuff? He's gathering? Oh my gosh. What is he gathering? Wood? Oh, I love this game so much. This game's amazing. Um, yes. Yes. I want another pallet base. Yes. I need to build a bed next. I'll do anything. Whoa. Hello. You're cool. I want you. Come here. I want you. Uh, st stop. Wait, wait, stop. Come here. Uh, oh, I'm out of stamina, right? All right, that's, that's pretty good. You guys, be careful. Ow! Bonk. Oh crap, there's two of them. Oh no, the merchant's hitting me too. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think I caught him either. Nope, I didn't. Yikes. Well, that didn't go too well. Apparently, the merchant will attack you if you attack pals nearby. So maybe that's frowned upon. How was I to know that, though? You know, to be fair, like, how could I have known? Oh, no. That's not what was supposed to happen. Tragedy striketh. Well, I don't want to keep looking at this. You know? So. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Not this way. Stop. Your hair is in the way. Uh, hi, sir. Remember me? Uh, we went to high school together. No, it's not enough. It needs to go further away. I can't. I can't handle seeing this when I wake up in the morning. I loved you. I wanted to be your friend. Couldn't you tell by the way I was smashing you in the face with my axe of love? Axe of love. See what I did there? Okay. Um. Cool. Uh, this guy leveled up. That's cool. Wait, no he didn't. Yes he did. No he didn't. It says he's level 4. But up there he says he's level 5. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, I can level up somehow. There we go. Well, the whole situation of getting my butt kicked that hard was kind of embarrassing. Let's go with health. Yeah. Okay. Good. <clears throat> are you a friend? Yes. You are a friend. That is good. Unstable? Why? Don't you love my base? Don't you love me? Alright, let's get this big silly rock out of here. Excuse me, sir. Um, out of stamina. Just hold tight, everyone. Yeah. Oh, it's smaller now. But still here. <clears throat> okay. Pals without beds will get stressed. Oh. I see. I need to build a dang bed for a pal. Be a pal. I build a bed. I possibly have to unlock that still. Um, yes, pal bed. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, listen, I'm gonna build you a bed. I'm gonna build you a bed, okay? Chill out. Everything's gonna be alright. I'm gonna build a bunch of beds right along this thing here. That'd be kind of nice, right? Can I build more? Nope, I need more wood and fiber. I need to go slap some trees. Yeah, build your own bed, chump. Quit freeloading. Gosh. I would have never thought that pals were such freeloaders. 
another. Hey, uh, when you're when you're done with that one, want to just kind of. Uh, just, I mean, you can build that one too if you want. Do you have to assign them to a bed, or does it just work? Like, you just have enough beds per pals working. Probably fine. Um. Haha! <laughs> Heck yeah. Ha! <laughs> I love it. Uh, more fiber. More fiber. Do you get more fiber for punching trees or like pickaxing trees instead of. You know what I'm saying? One wood. Two wood. Three wood. One fiber. Four. Five. Okay, so I've gotten like six to one ish. What's uh. What? Oh, stamina's up. <clears throat> oh, you get a lot more fiber using an axe, actually. Possibly. Uh, no, it's like the same ratio, I think. It's just that you get it faster. Oh, carrying too many things. Uh, well, just give me a sec, okay? Ooh, I'm a little heavy. Open. Um, yes, there we go. That basically did it fiber as well. Uh, I probably don't need gold with me currently. No, I should bring gold with me. Medical supplies. Strange medical supplies that are effective at treating ulcer and fracture. They do not heal health. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I don't think I need to carry the egg around with me, per se. Um, berry seeds? That's cool. It'd be good to have a farm, probably. Do I need to eat something? I feel like it's been... Have I eaten anything? Oh, I died once, so that probably reset the hunger meter, technically. Nah, I'm fine. Um, I'm that hungry in real life, and I'm not doing anything about it, so it's probably fine. Uh, okay. I want to upgrade my stuff some more. What do I, what do I need for that? Base upgrade. Build a shoddy bed. Okay, I need to build a bunch of stuff. I need to build a little house. Um, foundations. That's important. Wooden foundation. I bet that'll do it. I'll just build the smallest little lean-to ever. Right next to my pits. Uh, okay. Let's do um, a door. <laughs> Okay. That's nice that wood stuff you don't have to take the time to build manually. It kind of just works. I say wood stuff as in housing stuff, not necessarily because it's wood stuff. Yes, just a little lean to, you know? Nothing. Nothing crazy. Just enough to put a bed in, hopefully. I need wool. Oh, I sold all of it. Ugh. Um, alright, well you guys are my buddies, right? Yeah. Yep, buds. I don't want to mess with my buds. I need more lambs. Lamb balls. <clears throat> we'll put some more up this way. Possibly. Possibly, possibly. What's that noise? What's that, what's that mean? What is that? What's this beautiful noise? What is this noise? What is this? <gasps> what? What are you? Are you a, like a shiny? Is that what's going on right now? Hi! You're lovely. Well, gotta catch him, of course. Or her, it's a... Okay, yeah, here we go. <gasps> Okay, ready? I think I did it. Attack aggressively. Uh, 
punch. Get him, Fox Parks. Oof, that kind of hurts. All right, I might help a little bit. Ah. Yeah, get him. Ha, huh, now he's on fire. What a nerd. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What? What is the ice? Is that you? Are you icy? One more blast. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's get him. Yes. Good job, Fox Parks. Come here. How do I... Come here. I need to do something good. Come here. I'm going to pet you. You did so good. I love you. A lucky pal. Okay, so they're called lucky. Let's see what special abilities they have. Uh, how do you do that? Sometimes lays an egg when assigned to ranch. Okay. That's a partner skill, though. That, I feel like that's something that is something that they possibly always do. How do you... Can you look at your... Oh, you can right here. Uh, extremely weak and far too delicious. <clears throat> That's funny. What is their special thing? Gathering? Sometimes lays an egg. I don't know. I can't see what's special about them unless that's it. I don't know. Who knows? Kind of awesome, though. Big. Big. That'd make for a lot of fried chicken. <laughs> Just a chest. Let's get the chest. Well, <clears throat> I might do, I, I will do more videos like this one, but I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. This game is seriously worth every bit of the hype that it's getting. There was a lot more that I actually did in the playthrough with my other friend. And this game is so good. You can just, you can battle pals to level them up. There are dungeons in the open world where you go in and fight bosses. Everything respawns quick enough that it's not obnoxious. Are not so quick that it's obnoxious, you know what I mean? But quick enough that it's like you can do stuff over and over if you needed to. I think uh, dungeons respawn in like, I don't remember if he said like 10 seconds or 10 minutes, but technically you can like just do a dungeon repeatedly for the most part. And the chests that you find in world respawn on occasion. Yeah, this game is really, really good. There's NPCs in the game. There's like entire factions. Uh, there's like Pokemon, prote I'm sorry. <laughs> pal protection factions um there is like raiders essentially that just are bad people and poachers and things like that there's a bunch of stuff your your camp gets raided um and eventually if you've got enough really good pokemon oh my gosh if you get enough really good pals in your um camp then uh the raids are done like instantly and then you get just all the resources and XP of them coming to your camp and failing <laughs> immediately. So whatever. This game, I cannot believe it's in early access, first off. Um, what I mean by that is, like, I can't believe this is an early access game and it feels notably more fleshed out than so many games that I've played even in the past, like, five years. This game is good. It's really good. So that's my play and review of pal world i'm sure i'll have more episodes coming out thank you for watching if you liked it please do like comment and subscribe and um share it around too if you think it's helpful of course uh okay bye